Okay, this is uh, question number 10 from homework 2.6. This is the differential equation we have given. We try to change that equation in this form, which is dy over dx on the left side and uh, the function in term of y over x on the right side. So for that, bring this dy on the left side. As, I see, as, as you can see here, this y has a power negative one. So I just wrote it like 2x cubed over y. And I bring this thing to the other side, okay? And after that, uh, I just, you know, make it y on the denominator both sides. So that gives me y squared for the first term here. And on the right side, because of this negative sign, I'm just changing the sign inside the parentheses. After that, now I divide both sides by this expression here. And then after that, because our goal is to express on the right side as a y over x. So what I did is by looking at the highest power of y here and then down here, I just divide <coughs> numerator and denominator by x cube. Now just divide each of these terms on the top and bottom by x cube. That gives us this equation number two. y over x cube minus five y over x y over x square minus two. Uh, it's supposed to be equation number one, okay, not the two. And uh, after that, our goal is to substitute the for this y over x. So I'm going to use v as a y over x, and this means v times x is y. Uh, now differentiate both sides with respect to x. Use the product rule here on the left side, and uh, derivative of v times x plus derivative of x, which is one, you don't have to write that. And the derivative of y with respect to x is this. As you can see here, this equation, which is which supposed to be equation one, and uh, this equation, uh, this supposed to be equation one. Equation one and equation two, both of them, they have values for dy over dx. So I can just equate this expression with this one. Keep in mind, we are putting v for y over x here. By doing that, I get this thing from the left side of the equation two and this thing after substituting v for y over x from the equation one. So they are same. Now our goal is to find, uh, our goal is to simplify and then find the integration. So for the simplification, I bring this v to the other side and then just simplify. As you can see here, there is a one on the denominator, so you just have to multiply this v by v squared minus two. And then after cancellation, we're going to get this expression. Now we're going to separate all the v terms on the left side and all the x terms on the right side. I just keep this negative three on the right side here. And then I bring this v squared minus two on the top to the left side and v on the bottom side. So just divide v squared by v, that gives you v minus two over v. To go forward, you have to know one formula of the integration, which is this one. The integration of dx over x is ln of absolute value of x. So using this formula, now we can integrate this equation. Integration of v is v squared over two. Integration of two of this one is ln absolute value of v by using this formula. By doing the same thing on the right side, we're going to get negative three times ln of absolute value of x. So now after this, just plug back your value of v, which is y over x, and this is the expression we're going to get, and that is your final solution.